Just before I get into this video, guys, if you would like any Ultimate Team coins, you can check out thefootshot.com and use CalFreezy at checkout. I'll leave all the links down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But let's get into this video and see who the top 10 World Cup players are. What's going on guys and welcome to this World Cup Top 10 Players. Now, you might be thinking we're talking about the normal Ultimate Team, we're talking about FIFA in general. Nope, we are focusing solely on this new World Cup DLC that is coming tomorrow at the time of this video's upload. It's coming up tomorrow, so it should be very interesting. And EA have already told us the Top 10 Rated Players in this particular add-on. So, we're going to go ahead and start counting down from 10. Now, just before I do that guys, make sure sure you remember that all of these ratings are based on the international performances and they don't have anything to do with the club only international performances so without further ado let's head on to the countdown Right guys, coming in at number 10 is none other than Luis Suarez. Now, the one thing you have to notice about this card is in fact his 5 star skill moves. So obviously, he has 4 star skill moves in regular foot, but it looks as though EA have upgraded his skill moves. I don't know whether this is maybe um, accidental by EA, but they have upgraded him to 5 star skill moves, which is absolutely fantastic. His, also, his card is 88 rated, which is the same as his normal card on Ultimate Team that we're used to. So, um, that is our player in at number 10. Let's take a look at who's number 9. Coming in at number 9, we have the French winger Ribéry. Now, as you guys may notice, his international card is actually 2 ratings lower than his normal uh, foot card. And that's actually pretty interesting. His normal one's 90, and they've obviously rated his um, international play at around 88. So that's pretty interesting. He keeps his 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. And uh, yeah, he comes in at number 9. Let's see who we have at number 8. Coming in at number 8 is none other than the Argentinian monster up front. And you can just imagine him pairing up with Lionel Messi is going to be absolutely filthy. Now, his uh, card rating is exactly the same on normal foot. Um, so there's really not too much to talk about as far as uh, this goes. But you can just imagine, guys, if him and uh, Messi start just going ham up front for Argentina, then you are going to see him getting a lot of upgrades on his card. And it should be interesting to see if he picks up any of those man of the matches. In seventh, we have the Spanish icon, the midfielder, the master class that is Xavi. And uh, the one thing I notice is that his normal card is 89 rated, but his uh, man of the match, sorry, not his man of the match, his, his international rating is in fact 88, which is fair enough. Um, these guys have been playing in the Spanish midfield for a while now, and uh, I look forward to seeing how well he pairs up with Iniesta in this World Cup. It should certainly be a treat to watch, as always. Right then, so at number 6, we have got the Colombian Brute that is Falcao. I can't wait to see how he performs at the World Cup, but his international card is in fact 89 rated. That is one lower than his 90 rated card on foot. And he's still got the same 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, and that's pretty much it. Everything else stays the same. Let's move on and see who we have next. In at fifth place, we have your man, Iron Robin. Now, EA obviously very highly rate Robin's international performances for the Netherlands because they have put an extra point onto his overall. Compared to his normal foot card, which has an 88 rating, this Robin is 89 rated, but they haven't been all that kind to him. They've actually deducted his skill moves, taken him from four down to three, and his weak foot is still two stars. So that is a little bit of a letdown for those of you who like to cut inside and use that absolutely lethal left foot it is going to hinder your Ronaldo chops in fourth place we have Xavi's other half Iniesta with four star weak foot four star skill moves and an 89 rating so no surprises there really and of course Iniesta and Xavi have ran that Spanish midfield for so long now and it's great to see them in this top 10 in third place, just before we get onto the b two big timers, we do have Robin Van Persie. Now, this card has actually been upgraded by one overall rating to bring him up to that 90. His normal card's 89 on Ultimate Team, and he's still got that four star weak foot, four star skill move, so no real surprises there. Now, let's take a look at who the two big timers are on our countdown. 
Coming in at number two, we have Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, I, I, it has to be said, everyone sort of saw this coming. Big Ronaldo in second place. He's got that th four-star weak foot, sorry, five-star skill moves. He's got exactly the same rating as he does on normal foot. And really, there are not too many surprises flying around here. Um, he's six foot one. You know, he hasn't grown and he hasn't shrunk in the World Cup game. He's still the same height, can confirm. But let's check out who is number one. At number one, it is none other than EA's poster boy, Lionel Messi. He's got the same 94 rating, and my god, this this is going to be one hell of a fun World Cup game. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, and uh, yeah, all pretty, uh, you know, standard sort of stuff. I look forward to this game coming out. You're going to be able to make some really cool teams. You know, I'm going to be able to have Neymar and Suarez in the same team for the first time. All that sort of stuff should be a whole lot of fun, and I'm ex really excited to start playing this little game mode let me know guys in the comments what do you think to these ratings do you think any of the of, of them are wrong do you think they should be changed slightly yes no maybe who do you think should be number one two three who are your top 10 world cup players let me know in the comments guys hope you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you all later Bye bye